Overholt says the problem of overvaluing cars is not limited to buy here, pay here dealers. He says he did it all the time in both used and new car sales. And, he says, in order to falsely raise the value of a car, dealers often falsify documents, though we don't know if that's happened at Quick Auto. They got to falsify the credit application in the bookout sheet to justify that raise. The bookout sheet, he explained, describes the car and its accessories for the lender. What dealers will do in order to justify a higher loan is they will send a bookout sheet to the bank that has false information on it. It will say that the car has 10 items on it that it actually doesn't. And that would increase the value of the car and justify a higher loan. Well, I think that's fraud. If, a, if there are items listed on the sales contract that are not on the vehicle, then I think that's straight fraud. Those are misrepresentations. Now you'd think that at a buy here, pay here dealer where the lender is in house, they wouldn't have to falsify anything to make the loan. But car loans are often later sold to hedge funds and other investors. And investors have to get those same documents. We have no evidence of fraud on Quick Auto's bookout sheets or credit applications. But Overholt believes that any time cars are routinely sold over value, it's likely. There's no way in the world a hedge fund or any other entity buying these would buy them knowing that these cars were valued twice over their value, knowing that if it defaulted, they would take a big hit financially. And, he says, it may have even happened when you bought your last new car. From the wealthy all the way down to the poor, everyone is getting taken advantage of. And they basically don't know. Everybody believes that the laws are in place to protect them. Well, guess what? The laws are there, but there's nobody enforcing them. If we could find a pattern of overvaluing vehicles, that is something you could check. According to the head of the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division, it's not something they've looked into. The lawyers that I have reviewing the complaints are telling me at least that's not what consumers are saying to us. Consumers just don't know. And of course, too often, consumers don't know their options either. In Arlene's case, it turns out she did have an alternative to Quick Auto. The USA One Credit Union took an application from Arlene, and she qualifies for a loan. The interest rate is high, 19 percent, because of her credit score. But it's better than the 24.9 percent at Quick Auto. And more importantly, if she had borrowed money here rather than at Quick Auto, she could have bought a $3,200 car for $3,200. And she wouldn't be stuck with a $6,000 debt. For Chicago Tonight, this is Jay Shevsky. Consumer advocates say it's always best to shop for a loan before you go to the car lot and to check used car values in the Kelly Blue Book or other guides. For links to these and other car buying resources, you can visit our website.